<clears throat> did you see uh, Kalki's Instagram post? She's apparently in Austin. Oh, and then she, no. She got out of the plane, and apparently the airlines lost her luggage. Okay. So she had to stop at her, then because she didn't have anything. Anything. Okay. And so she had to stop at... Um, the a Walgreens that was I guess close to her hotel and got the only thing apparently I think it was late or something so it was okay. like the only thing open right and so she walked out with like a a Texas Longhorns hook'em hook horn shirt <laughs> which is hilarious hook'em horns I don't give a shit about them Josh! Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to the like button. That's also, funny. Kulky, if you're in the hey! States, if you're coming to LA. Yeah. Come on. Come on, be our in person dosed. Yep. Uh, come to the lair. Uh, or we'll come to you. Yeah, it's true. We yeah, could go yeah, there. Yeah. Anyway, you don't have to come to Winnetka, California. <laughs> Some call it don't the tell Vegas. Them, of... Don't tell them where you live. Yeah, it's not a big, not a big area. I all. know. They'll just. Someone could. Whittle it down to Winnetka and just walk around. Today we got a video. This is from a uh, channel called Dating Beyond Borders. This is truth or myth. Indians react to stereotypes. Okay, great. What's the stereotype of an Indian? Um, I'll tell you one of the stereotypes of an Indian. Mm. And Indrani was asked by somebody who asked her the question and said, I'm sorry, was that offensive? But said, so do you do, you do this at home? What is that? I don't know. But... What is that? A stereotype. So the stereotype. What is that? Just, I, I mean, Indian, I know like Indian dancing. This. Ding, ding, ding. Like doing this. Yeah. Or the. I mean, and I know she those said, steps. She said, no, that's not offensive at all. Idiot. She didn't say that. No, she didn't say that. <clears throat> so, yes. What do you, what's with stereotypes? The food, everybody thinks that Indians only eat North Indian cuisine in America because that's all the restaurants here serve is they, North Indian I style guess that Indian food. they're all doctors or engineers, engineers which is probably true. Yeah. Uh, that, that they all have the same accent, that they all only speak one language. Indian. Yeah. Anyways, let's figure it out. <clears throat> here we go. No Indian has ever smelled like curry. I think that's just a lie. We can put it all over our face as well. We just don't smell of curry. <laughs> well, and most Americans think curry is just one thing. Yeah. Right. I, I work in IT. <laughs> And I just finished my program in IT. <laughs> to expect us to become one of these, the engineers or doctors. Because anytime I call Fido, tell whatever phone carrier I have, I know she's not a Stephanie. <laughs> Virgin Mobile came out with their phone service, mm -hmm. and their whole marketing campaign was like this, like this sexy British voice, like, "Thank you for calling Virgin." Yes, I just cut to like, "Hi, Carthy, hi, Virgin." <laughs> Dramatic, and we love this the one? dramas and the yeah, the one I was just talking about. Movies. Because I was in Sarnia, and the only way to connect with like my Indian culture was Bollywood. So every Friday, my mom would pick out a movie, and we would watch it. But we do have one or two steps ready with us yeah, all always. Time. Get a side move. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like sideways, light bulb this way, and. I'm not big into Bollywood, but I can shoot. You guys want me to shoot? This is the hot shit right now. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so there's an assumption that uh, must be a few years ago. A yeah. Move. It's not. <laughs> that hasn't been a move since like fast 15, 20 years. I don't think anybody has done this. That other guy just yeah, did that. <laughs> when I was a kid, my parents would like. There's like two people hugging. And this like intense hugging. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how you get pregnant. You're lucky. My mom and dad are like, <laughs> and they're like fast forwarding it oh. really quickly. Hugging because of the hugging. I don't think so. No. <laughs> I never smell like curry in India, but in Canada I always smell like curry. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, someone Punjabi had to tell me. Mm-hmm. I went to school with my jacket on, and someone Punjabi was like, "You left your jacket downstairs while your mom was cooking." <laughs> I live in a condo. Am I building at one point? Just it's just because there's a lot more like, flavors and so smells. Like, I cannot claim Brampton, but I have to. <laughs> it's like saying <laughs> Italians smell food, like garlic. Okay, you want this bland food that tastes like nothing? Fine. Right. You can smell like bologna all day. <laughs> <laughs> bologna. <laughs> It depends, depends on where you go. Yeah. And it still happens. <laughs> it still happens a lot. Personally, me, no. My parents have never forced me to do anything that I didn't want to. My parents called me from India one day and they said, we're getting you married. Uh, I said, okay. Uh, they found the girl for me. I met her and she was very beautiful. And, uh, you know, I'm very handsome. So I thought it's a great match. <laughs> my mom brings home a hot girl. Like, I'm not going to say no to it. Yeah, Yo, and she approves. And if she says yes, like, I'm down, like, you're hot, like, I'm down. <laughs> I know some people who just gave up, like, they got to, they got 28, 29, they're like, I'm not gonna get one. Exactly. Mom, yeah. dad, just hook it up. Do you want your parents to marry you? That's up to you. If you want to marry the person you want to marry, you can marry. It's not like our parents are gonna force you and they're gonna kill us if we marry someone else. That did happen. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Except I'm a tough bok chan. Always 10 minutes before the time. Me too. But if I'm meeting my friends, then 15, 20 minutes is yeah. all right. And they know. And they know that. The 15, 20 minutes is not a real late. It's just like on time. <laughs> Oh. We don't even understand the reasons behind it because we leave on time. It's just something happens between <laughs> and, and getting there. Even during their weddings, they're yeah. late. I do find the RSVP a little ridiculous. It's like, yeah, a, I feel like it's a or brown, like a save the date and then RSVP. It's like, come on. I feel like brown just, people don't believe in that. It's just kind of no. like, I'm going to show up. Why do I, why do I gotta It's an insult. Here? It's like, you don't think I'm going to come? Exactly. I'm coming. Exactly. <laughs> Not about, uh, they love so bargaining, good. yes. Yeah, Cheap, no, but love bargaining? It's a part of you me betcha. I have to pay full price for anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My mom, she goes and gets all these coupons from all these different websites, and then goes to a grocery store and uses those, and even the grocery people are like, I don't know where you got this from. And it works, because it's actually from their website. Yeah. You go to price to the shopkeeper, and if that person doesn't agree, you walk away. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. walk away, that's, all that's always walk, walk away. away. <laughs> And he's gonna call Don't look back. <laughs> Wait until just the hope, calls you. Just hope he's gonna call you. Yeah. Well, sometimes I'll date people from like born and raised here and their finances improve. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling these girls like you're gonna go get brunch. You don't have any money. Let's make a sandwich and go to the park. <laughs> We we'll got a coffee on the way. What are we doing? This is why you're so single. Uh, the fourth time I went to Walmart, I was trying to bargain as well. <laughs> the lady that was at the counter was Indian too, so uh, she understood what I was trying to do. Yeah, she gave me a dollar coupon for next. <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can hear us, right? Yeah. You can. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're just we're just so sweet when we speak. So there's nothing sexy about that. When you see like a Spanish yeah. guy, he's just like, hello, you know, like he just has like the whole the yeah. package, and then the Indian guy's just like, hi. <laughs> oh, hi, made him. Did we not sound like bells ringing? No. <laughs> no. That is not true. We, we don't even move our faces like this when we talk. No. Bush. Never happens. But I think, like Indian food, I think this accent's going to come around. I think in 10 years it's going to be sexy. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be hot. No. no. I think that, like, you know that Virgin is? Mobile is going to cut to, like, hi, my name is Arthur, and two going to be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me Indian. Yeah. Oh yeah. Indian is a language. <laughs> right. How many languages do you have in India? Ugh. I think 400 to 450. Growing up, did your did your mother beat you a lot? I say yes, absolutely. <laughs> that's why I'm such a good good kid. I've seen Slumdog Millionaire. That's this is amazing. The culture, the beauty. I'm like, nah. I know what the you're thinking about. Is so bad. I know, bro. <laughs> yep. <laughs> If you come over, you'll be fed, and you'll be fed till you're tired of eating. And that's probably the greatest thing about us. Yeah, the food is amazing. Yeah, we're great hosts. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No matter where an Indian is, you cannot just take that Indianness out of him. Mm. And we're gonna take different. we're gonna take over the world very soon. Yep. Everybody's gonna look. It's already like happened. Years from Population now. wise. So you start preparing now. I think people need to know that we're coming up in the game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're coming for you.
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what who's your this, favorite stereotype. Who's this white person? Well. Where are you from and what stereotypes do you Stop talking. Get? Stay tuned for next. Yeah. You know, the bargaining thing isn't just an Indian ideal. It's it's common in a lot of cultures, cultures. around the world. Bargaining is not common in American culture. No, it can happen in certain... You expect it in certain things. The purchase of a car, the buying of a house, the big dollar things is standard in American culture. But the day-in, day-out purchasing of things, which is standard in India to bargain, it's also standard, for example, I know uh, that's one of the things for anybody on the, that's gone to Israel who's an American. They've been shocked at the fact that it's just standard fare. You do not pay the price that's being asked. Yeah. I mean, in... in just street vendor uh, Mexican culture as well. Yeah. Um, not Obviously, there's m much more developed cities that have actual stores, and they don't do it there. But it's it's pretty common in a lot. I mean, the Indian restaurant I go to a lot uh, even has a no bargaining sign <laughs> just because I mean, it's even common. It's predominant Indians that go to this yeah. restaurant, which is why it's such good Indian food. Right. Um, but they, <laughs> they just like, we do not bargain. Yep. <laughs> and frugality, the the idea of saving money versus spending money, that is, I know that experientially, it's a wonderful thing about Indrani, she's like me, in that she doesn't need or want to spend anything or buy. A lot of the times, if she hears about the price of something, especially in America, her response is very Bengali, and her response is, oof. <laughs> <laughs> oof. 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 No. Um, why? Seriously, why do that? We can go, we can spend, and when we spend as little money as possible in a given day, we spend a little money for the grocery store for lunch, we, we high-five each other. She's so happy that we saved money when we did that. In Indians being late is something that oh, we, we have noticed. <laughs> we, we went to Patan. It was almost a full theater. We were, it's, we were 15 minutes into the theater, and like half of it, the half of the theater was empty, and then it yes. was full by 15 minutes in. I must say, there's been really... Indrani's gotten really, really good. When she when she was first here for the first six months to eight months, that it was stereotypical. I was joke everywhere I went. I was sending messages of "gonna be late. I have an Indian with me." Yeah. Everywhere, every single place. But she's gotten very good. It's about just a different pace. Being punctual. It is, and it's particularly doubled down on people here in the entertainment industry. Having grown up in the industry, being on time for everything is a non negotiable. It's a deal breaker. If you are late in the entertainment industry here. It, it's not a good thing for auditions, for callbacks, for headshots, for anything. Unless Time is money. Unless you're a big star. And, yeah. They, so, they have different rules. So for me, punctuality, you can ask the kids. If we get into the movie theater, I want to watch the trailers. I want to be on time for the trailers. And being late stresses me out. So, yeah. Definite stereotype. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about it. What are some stereotypes that you feel are true and not true yeah. at all? Uh, I'm sad they didn't ask him about Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, <laughs> does everybody love Shah Rukh Khan? Yes. Yes. Yes, everyone yeah. does. Uh, I wish I would have asked them a question about Bollywood, specifically in terms of the, everybody loves Bollywood, and then they would have gone into Bollywood's also not... Yeah, the, the only, only industry. industry. It's also like there's other massive industries in other languages as well. Because yep. most Americans, if they're not Indian... I'd say even 99.9% .9 don't know that there's anything other than Bollywood. They assume every movie that comes out of India is a yeah. Bollywood film. Um, unless they have an Indian friend. Right. <laughs> yep. That has told them otherwise. And part of the reason for that is because when you turn on a film like RRR on Netflix, whose primary language is Telugu, it is not in Telugu. It is dubbed in Hindi. Yeah. Thanks so much, Netflix. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. Anyways, let us know down below.